<laughs> I just got back from DC. It is Friday. Uh, I'm so tired. I stayed up until almost two last night doing prothesis work. And my brain feels like it's running at half power. Because I had to wake up this morning at, I think I woke up at 6, 6.30, because I had to go into DC for the NAOP competition kickoff. I'm a part of the NAOP competition this semester for my class. I mean, it's pretty cool. <laughs> the, the competition itself is set up so that we're working with real industry professionals to do a development project, which is very intriguing. It'll be a great way of testing out, making sure I know all of the components that I need to put into my capstone, which will be next semester. So this is like a, a good test run, you know, for coming up with my capstone project. Also, prothesis is going well, kind of. I, it's going well in that I'm narrowing down what I want to study to a certain degree. It's not going well in that it's stressing me out because I have to narrow down my frame of study by Wednesday because we have thesis match. <gasps> and I'm like, I don't feel ready to present my idea to a panel of people so that they can decide if they want to work with me or not. <laughs> I'm still figuring out what I want to do. But I just finished reading Powerless by Lauren Roberts on Valentine's Day, on Wednesday, and it was so good. The banter in this book, the teasing, so good, so good, had me literally kicking my feet, giggling, like screaming, oh my god, it was so, yes, it just tickled something in my brain that was like, this is what I wanted to see. I cannot wait for the next book to come out. It was like 500 pages and I read it in just under three days. That's quick for me. <laughs> you know it's good when I can't put it down. Like it becomes an issue because I'm reading the book instead of doing my work. But I just got back to the apartment. So I'm gonna go inside and make, I was gonna say lunch, but I'm not hungry yet. I might take a nap, if I'm being honest. My brain clearly needs some extra, extra juice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I was going with this, so that's gonna be all. You're gonna hear your giggles in the back of my video when I play this back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just roaming around with you, just lurking on the edge of the screen. Ready? I need everyone to know that it is this Nugget's birthday today. She is two. Let me go, Mom. Two verging on 25. And you know what her birthday gift is? <laughs> I'm singing happy birthday for her. Happy birthday to Beeps. Happy birthday to Beeps. Happy birthday you, <laughs> to the baby. Happy birthday to Beeps. Go sit at the table. It's like, what are you doing? She does not understand. She's like, you always tell me to get down from the table. She's like, what do you, what do you mean? What do you mean? Is it special day? It's special day. Come here, baby. Beeps. Are you gonna make her? Oh, also, all of our placemats are wonk right now, so I'm trying to like flatten them. It's she not going well. She gets the flat one though, because she's the birthday cat. Of course, she gets the flat. One. Yeah, you just have to. <laughs> If she doesn't like it, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this is David's birthday creation. He just spent the whole time I've been making the burgers making this. <laughs> She'll come around to it. Mm -hmm. Hello, vlog. This is my buddy. So I'm currently working on 
I hate, I hate all of the reflections. There are so many reflections. I'm gonna try and get rid of them all. I'm sitting in bed, which is probably a bad idea, but I just wanted to sit in a comfy location. But I'm currently working on my thesis poster. I have to come up with a poster and a leave behind, which is basically a small form information pamphlet about what my poster basically said, so that I can present it starting tomorrow through Thursday and find my thesis chair. It is scary. I'm scared. I'm scared because I haven't fully fleshed out my idea yet, which is the point. I'm not supposed to have it fully figured out, but I need to have it figured out enough that I can make a poster about it and talk about it to individuals in my field. I'm trying to edit the poster. It needs to be finished by 8 p.m. tonight. It's currently 2.40 and I pretty much have it done. I'm literally just like nitpicking on the wording of things that I have on my poster, but I'll give you a sneak peek of what it looks like and I'll show you tomorrow what it looks like printed because I'm turning in the digital submission tonight and then I'll be printing it out, pinning it up, and standing in front of it for two hours. For me, one and a half hours. I have to leave a half an hour early so I can go to class. Also, someone tell me how I'm supposed to get through all of my obligations and still work. Like, I know technically you're not supposed to work 40 hours a week and do school, but like, I feel like I should be able to. And I also feel like it's killing me. <laughs> what have I done to myself? I've, I've come to realize that a human being can only be productive for so many hours. And as much as I would like to tell myself that I'll be productive all day long, simply not true. Simply not feasible. And I might need to accept that fact and lessen the hours that I'm doing outside of classwork right now. But I don't wanna. I, I'll consider myself a quitter if I do that. And I don't wanna be a quitter. But I also know that it's my entire mental health hanging in the balance and my thesis project literally involves mental health. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm spiraling, I'm spiraling guys. But just so you can see, first of all, she's helping me get through this. Second, this is my poster right now. This is how it's going. I want to reword these questions. I'm not really sure how I feel about them, but this is what it is so far. And then I'll show you my leave behind. I'm going with this one. And again, this is also something I'm working on right now. I kind of want to reword that as well. But that's what's up. That's my thesis project. So if you know anything about biophilic design or neuroarchitecture and you have some good sources, let me know. I might look them up. <sighs> Hello, vlog. <laughs> I can actually talk today because I'm not hysterically nervous like I was yesterday, but today is the second day of thesis match. Which, for those of you who don't know, I am an architecture major, I'm currently getting my master's degree, so I have this thing called a thesis, and it's so fun <laughs> and so stressful. Basically, I get to pick my own research topic, and then I have to do a crap ton of work researching it this semester so that next semester I can start designing a project related to this thesis. What I'm doing right now is preparing to go to my thesis match, which is where I will find my thesis chair. How many times can I say thesis in this short amount of time? Basically, I'm picking a person to be my mentor for this whole process. And yesterday I was shitting myself with stress over this whole thing because I had to print my poster yesterday. Today is already on the wall and I just have to show up and I already know what the process is like because I did it yesterday. So much less stressed for this one. I wish I would have taken a short vlog clip yesterday because I actually like synced my outfit with my poster. I can't do that today because I only had one green top, but it was cute and multiple people commented on it. So I felt very proud, but now I'm going to head out the door so that I'm not late. Boo is staring at me, but it's not late enough for dinner, so I'm not making her dinner yet. All right, I gotta go. I'll show you my poster on the wall. I am back from my thesis match and I just had my 
real estate class, which was after slash during my thesis match. <laughs> and right now we're cuddling in the bean bag. I love you. This is so cute. I love you so much. <laughs> oh, baby. She just wants to love. <laughs> My baby. I love her so much. I love you to the point it doesn't make sense. You are my fur baby forever. <laughs> Can we just take a minute to talk about how good it feels to make new friends? <laughs> so, hold on, I need a little better lighting. We're gonna film in here just because the lighting is the brightest, but I, <laughs> okay, it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> also, I changed. I'm, I'm in full comfort mode, so disregard. Um, currently, I am in, how do I want to talk about this? Because I'm in a dual degree, I'm not in the same class as a lot of the people that I've become very close with in my graduate studies journey. So it's really weird. <laughs> like a lot of the people that I'm really close with are graduating before me because that's the traditional track if you have um, a, a two year master's degree. I have five semesters and then the other people that I'm very close with are actually extending their degree or they're in a dual degree that requires a whole extra semester so they're doing three years. So I'm in this awkward middle junction where no one that I made close friendships with and I have a decently large friend group a large friend group for me because I typically have like one to two people that I'm really close with I have a decently large friend group in the architecture school and somehow I'm not going to be graduating with any of them which is wild to think about but with that comes the fact that I'm not going to be doing my thesis research or presentation at the same time as any of my friends. So people will be done before me and people will be done after me, but I'm not taking these final classes before I graduate with any of those people. <laughs> and it took a lot for me to become close to the people that I am close with. I'm the type of person where I'm, I'm good with people, but I'm an introvert, so I'm not going to go out searching for friends, I kind of fall into friendships and I fall really hard. <laughs> but when I entered into my thesis class, it felt like a lot of the people already knew each other. They're graduating together. On the first day of class, did something I don't typically do and I just started talking to people, talking to strangers and inserting myself into conversations between existing friend groups, which is really awkward for me. But with that, I made some new friends. I, the friend group that I inserted myself into, I was really worried. I was annoying and being too pushy. But today they confirmed that they like me. <laughs> it's a weird thing to say out loud, but we were having a talk during final thesis match today while we were waiting because there weren't too many people to talk to. We were really clicking and I feel like it's just nice to note how good that feels to click with people. Like that feeling of making new friends unmatched. <laughs> it was really cool to know that even though I'm not graduating with my already established close friend group, I seem to be making a whole nother friend group before I even leave, which is really dope. 